As Elijah was a man walking on the earth, God put him there. We must remember that Elijah was taken up by a whirlwind. And he went up in a chariot of fire. Now, let's think on this for a moment. Elijah went up in a chariot of fire. Now, nothing on this earth, metal, wood, is in the kingdom of heaven. It's not allowed there. Everything on this earth is sin. It will burn by God's consuming fire. So Elijah went up in a chariot of fire. It wasn't made of metal. It wasn't made of wood. This chariot was nothing but God's fire. Another thing, remember what we read, Jesus said, flesh and bone, a spirit is not flesh and bone. Elijah did not go up in flesh and bone. He went up who he really was as a spirit. Also, if you read chapter 2 in the book of Kings, 2 Kings, the horses were of fire. This is the spirit realm that is so... Jesus even said that everything he talked about was spirit. These horses were spirit. They were fire. Elijah was taken up in a chariot and horses of fire. No flesh, no bone, no wood, no metal. Elijah was taken up by a whirlwind. Picture being taken up by a whirlwind. There ain't no horses, chariot, or man alive that can be taken up by a whirlwind and survive. This was the spirit realm that is so crucial that we must understand. Even Elijah's mantle was all that was left on the ground. Also, Elisha asked Elijah for a double portion of his spirit. A double portion. And even Elijah said, Thou hast asked a hard question. But, he did give him a double portion of his spirit. But even as Elijah was clothed in a man's body on this earth, he was tempted. He struggled, just like Jesus. They saw what it was really like to be on this earth and dealing with the temptations, dealing with the world, and, and, and Jezebel was out to murder Elijah constantly. So they had to deal with the flesh and bones that, they were, that God gave them on this earth. But Elijah is one of the seven spirits that stand in the presence of God. Now if we read chapter 2 of 2 Kings, we'll start at verse 9. And Elijah is talking to Elisha. And it says here, And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. Now where do you suppose Elijah is going to go? He's going back in the presence of God Almighty awaiting his next assignment. Which probably the next assignment was John the Baptist. And Elijah was going to be inside of John the Baptist. But if we read on. As Elijah said. What shall I do for Elisha. Before I be taken away from thee. 
Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Now think about that. Elisha's asking Elijah for a double portion of his spirit. Interesting. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing, nevertheless, if thou see me, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. This is proof of Elisha's faith. Elisha was in the spirit world. Elisha loved God Almighty. Elisha wanted to be like Elijah. Faith in action. Elisha witnessed, as God always done, Elisha witnessed Elijah going up in a chariot of fire and horses of fire in the spirit world. Elisha had the honor to see this. What an honor that is. And it came to pass as they still went on and talked that behold there appeared, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire. My brothers and sisters, this isn't metal, this isn't wood, this isn't flesh and bone. This is the spirit world. This is a chariot, an image of a chariot made of fire and the horses made of fire. And parted them both asunder and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Now if you read the concordance, a spirit is breath or wind. It's the only way you're going up is as a spirit of God Almighty because God doesn't want your flesh. He doesn't want your bone. He doesn't want metal or wood in his kingdom. It's not allowed. It's sin. So Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Elisha saw it and he cried. Now this cry was probably so loud. My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. The this spectacular view that Elisha must have saw just totally, we can't fathom it. So the mantle fell from Elijah because no clothing can go into the kingdom of heaven. He took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of the Jordan River.